Iodine is a mineral and a chemical element, but not a vitamin. Our entire body needs iodine, and not just our thyroid. Our brain needs sufficient iodine, to function properly. It is said that iodine removes fluoride, out of the pineal gland, an endocrine gland, located in the brain, and as a result sufficient iodine, strengthens our will. Getting enough iodine is important for everyone, especially infants and pregnant women. The body does not make iodine, so it is an essential part of our diet. Iodine is found in various foods. It is said that the foods high in iodine, are particularly dairy products, seafood, meat, some breads, and eggs. It is also said that food rich in iodine becomes purple, or bluish in color, when lemon juice is mixed with it. Testing it by cutting a lemon, and putting little amount of lemon juice drops on iodine salt, if the color of the salt change to bluish or not. The salt which contains iodine changed to bluish, in color after a few drops of lemon juice is drop on the iodine salt, because the salt is potassium iodide. Iodine is not very water soluble, so potassium iodide, Ki, is added in making an iodine solution. So iodine solutions can be brown, blue or purple in color depending on the characteristics of additional elements. It is also said that pure iodine color is blue and black. It is also said that food rich in iodine, can be test with a lemon. The color of ginger changes immediately to brownish in color, after a few drops of lemon juice is dropped on the sliced ginger, that is the color of povidone iodine solution, and it is very rich in magnesium which is very good in fighting thyroid disease. In some books I have read that ginger is a very rich source of iodine, but on the net I could not find ginger having any element of iodine. The color of ginger after mixing some drops of lemon, changed to the color of povidone iodine solution. If iodized salt is left open in contact with air, then it is said that iodine used to evaporate and get mix with air. For that also I test some salt, after keeping the iodized salt, in a plate for few hours. Now if I put some drops of lemon in the iodized salt, the salt color does not change to bluish color, but remains the same. Does it mean the iodine had evaporated from the salt, as had been left open in contact with air? Now let's check an egg, which is said to be a rich source of iodine. Separating the yolk, and putting small amount of lemon juice. After a few minutes, the yellow colored yolk turns into whitish yellow, because of mixture of iodine with vitamin C. So iodine solutions can be of any color, depending on the characteristics of additional elements.